Hi there, welcome back to ADSR Massive Tutorials. If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, get yourself subscribed, youtube.com forward slash ADSR Tuts. So for this tutorial and for the rest of this month, we're going to be looking at this left side of Massive really. So the oscillators, the modulation oscillator and the noise and feedback control. I'm going to start today and I'm just going to look at some of the different wavetables that we have in Massive, Massive being a wavetable synthesizer and I think it's important to just have a good understanding of some of these these wavetables in here and what kind of sounds they're going to produce. So this is going to help you with sound design rather than just randomly selecting wavetables and playing around, having a bit of knowledge of what these can do and familiarizing yourself with some of these wavetables really going to help with sound design with Massive. So start off and I'll look at these this first column because these wavetables are split into categories so we've got virtual analog then we've got basic analog electric digital hybrid and effects chords so the VA virtual analog were introduced to massive I think on version 1.2 and if we load up one of these this pulse saw PWM it's like a saw wave really until Move around to the left, we're naturally going to get a sound because this is linked to this pulse width. If you notice, when I selected one of these, or when I select one of these VA or virtual analog wavetables, we get some different options in this middle control. So, pulse width. So, bring that pulse width around to the left, and I can hear that, that, that pulse wave now. Back over to the saw and there's no effect from this pulse width so this is a really cool wavetable to use combined with some pulse width modulation maybe make the synth monophonic or even modulate this pulse width here with an LFO Get some quite funky sounds. We haven't actually done any filtering or effects or anything, just one wavetable, a little bit of modulation. So underneath that, the pulse or sync. If I take that modulation off and now. So this same again as the PWM, we've got a pulse wave and a saw wave, but we've also it's got linked to oscillator sync now, so it's a bit like the format mode that you have for the intensity control so you get this oscillator sync sweep if we modulate this it's going to sound pretty cool as well some pretty out there kind of full on sounds but yeah it's a pretty cool wavetable go to the basic section and some of these are your more familiar wavetables, square saw, square saw 2, a smooth square sign. So great for kind of sub bass and stuff. And sometimes just the kind of sine wave blended with a little bit of a square and some heavy distortion. A tweak on the envelope. We've got the starting for quite a nice bass sound already. And some of these other envelopes in here, I quite like this Woody. It's got a great sound, the Woody wavetable. It's quite a hollow sort of sound. Really like it, pitched up a bit. And then tweak some, maybe tweak a filter on this. Add some chorus. It's great for kind of plucky leads and stuff, this woody wavetable. So, we've got a few other things in here. One thing that 
massive is obviously great for kind of dirty bass noises and stuff aggressive kind of metallic tones but it's also really good for organ sounds there's so many of these wavetables have got like a really sort of old school organ character so some of these additive mix that's a little bit more kind of a bassy sound but like classic sort of organ sounds really blended with sort of like a kind of combination of other waves really sawtooth waves and stuff uh, and then some of these rough math quite aggressive sounding obviously if we start entering one of the different modes the bend mode maybe make the sound monophonic and it's just having an understanding of these wavetables and what they're going to do I mean straight away this rough math I've not got anything else applied to the sound I've not even boosted any voices or anything I've just made the sound monophonic pitched it down tweaked with the kind of mode up here and the wavetable position and I've got the startings of maybe quite a sort of chunky electro bass move over here analog electric some of these wavetables are great this strontium wavetable here straight straight away it's just got such a nice tone just you know there's not I'm not even done any kind of processing or editing in the synth whatsoever just hitting a C3 take it down an octave enter one of the Ben plus minus modes so strontium is a great one to use I also use this screamer quite a lot it's a bit more aggressive this one nice quite raspy sort of tone to it uh, and some of these other ones you've got like a hard sync so oscillator sync so getting quite a similar vibe to that pulse source sync as well acid so you can get some real great acid noises combined with the acid filter so we could apply an envelope to that cut off there those acid sounds always sound quite nice heavily distorted so with high resonance values too we've got a really cool acid stab Okay, move over now to this next section, digital hybrid, and this is where some of the classics come into play a little bit more, like the gentle speech and modern talking, which has kind of rinsed so much in dubstep over the last few years, some of these wavetables. distortion and we get a similar vibe with this modern talking So 
you get that classic sort of dubstep tone. I actually really like modern talking pitch right down though, so a couple of octaves down. And we, it's kind of like an LFO sort of sound. It becomes a bit more of an effect right down there, this modern talking. So maybe a bit more useful for some, some kind of sound design stuff. Uh, we've got a few more really nice organ sounds in here as well. These Flenders 1, 2 and 3. So turn that dis distortion off for now. So pure organ around to the right in the wavetable position. And then we're getting a blend of kind of sawtooth waves and maybe some more organ sounds. But this... And then some slightly different tones from Flender 2 to Flender 3. But this is great for recreating some of those classic sort of uh, house stabs or house chords. So, so we've got a Flender 2 set up in the Oscillator 1 slot and blend that with some square waves. make a bit of a square chord and let's do some filter modulation here delay and reverb and we've got one of those sort of classic sort of house stabs you know just using that flenders in combination with a couple of other wavetables so they're really cool scrapyard again another great one for sort of bass music styles really dirty sound i love this dock organ as well this one's great especially when i activate one of the ben minus plus modes really fat sound and you don't really need to do an awful lot to it to just kind of take it to that next level just a few effects really and the final category we have FX chords and these are just I mean colors is probably one of my favorite wavetables in massive just straight away you've just got this one finger chord stacked up great for kind of deep sort of vibes and, and deep house vibes and stuff you know get a much moodier chord, wavetable position control round to the left, much moodier sort of vibe and it just sounds really gritty, kind of really analogue sort of old school sounding, great little wavetable that one and yeah some of the other ones like Cicada, just really experimental so a chord combined with various different waveforms to the point where you modulate this wavetable position 
and you're getting almost like a vowel type effect on that sound. So I think it's important to just have your head around some of these wavetables a little bit because this is what makes Massive really unique is these sounds, a lot of these wavetables are quite unique to Massive and Massive's engine. So yeah, we've kind of gone through some of the wavetables in there. There's there's tons on offer in here, so just kind of really get stuck in and experiment with some of these and uh, come and check us out. The second video in this series I'm going to be getting really stuck into these controls here especially the bend minus plus controls and this intensity control so yeah alright any questions about that tutorial please get in touch let us know and make sure you get yourself over to our website as well massivesynth.com tons more tutorials on there for Native Instruments Massive and thanks for watching alright cheers